about the cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are nerves that emerge directly from the brain or brainstem, unlike spinal nerves, which emerge throughout various segments of the spinal cord. Cranial nerves are numbered from nose to tail, as when viewing the brain or brainstem from below. Three things to consider when viewing this, when watching this video, is whether the nerves are motor, sensory, or mixed, what organs they innervate, and what pathways they take to get there. Cranial nerve number one is the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve conducts smell. It starts on the, off in the olfactory epithelium and it travels through the cribriform plate of the ethnoid bone and then it synapses with the olfactory bulb which we can see here this is the olfactory bulb and then that information is carried back via the olfactory tract into the forebrain. Cranial nerve number two is the optic nerve. It is a sensory only nerve that is responsible for vision. Its nerve passes through the optic canal, which we can see here. In this model of the eye, we can see the optic nerve going through the optic canal, and then here it becomes the optic tract at the optic chiasm where some of the fibers cross over. On a brain model, we can see the optic nerve, the optic chiasm, where the medial fibers cross over, and then the optic track, which enters the forebrain. Cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve. The oculomotor nerve carries motor information only. It innovates four of the six extrinsic eye model muscles. The superior rectus, the inferior rectus, the medial rectus, and the inferior oblique muscle. It originates in the midbrain and passes through the superior orbital fissure. Cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve also originates in the midbrain and carries only motor information. It innervates one of the eye muscles. It innervates the superior oblique and it also passes through the superior orbital fissure. Cranial nerve number five is the trigeminal nerve. It is a mixed nerve, which means that it carries both sensory and motor information. It has three branches, the ophthalmic branch, the maxillary branch, and the mandibular branch. It does sensation to the face and general sensation to the tongue, and it also innervates the muscles of mastication. Each of the branches has a different path pathway through the skull. The ophthalmic branch passes through the superior orbital fissure. The maxillary branch passes through the frame and rotundum and the mandibular branch passes through the foramen ovale. Cranial nerve number six is the abducens nerve. It is a motor nerve only and it innervates one of the extrinsic eye muscles, the lateral rectus, 
and its action is to abduct the eye. It passes through the superior orbital fissure. Cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. It is a mixed nerve carrying both muscle information and sensory information. It innovates the muscles of facial expression and two of the three salivary glands, the sublingual and the submandibular. It also carries sensory information from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. The facial nerve comes out of the brain and goes through the internal auditory meatus to exit through the stylomastoid foramen. Cranial nerve number eight is the vestibular cochlear nerve, which is, which is carries, carries only, only sensory, sensory information. information. It, carries it carries information, information regarding, regarding hearing, hearing and, balance, and balance, and it exits from the internal auditory meatus. Cranial nerve number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. It is a mixed nerve, although it is mainly sensory. It carries sensory information from the oropharynx and the posterior tongue. It does taste from the posterior one third of the tongue. And its motor functions include innovating the parotid salivary gland. here, and one of the pharyngeal muscles. The glossopharyngeal nerve passes through the jugular foramen. Cranial nerve number 10 is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a mixed nerve, and it is the only cranial nerve that travels below the head and the neck. It exits through the jugular foramen, and it is a major parasympathetic nerve that innervates most of the viscera of the thorax and the abdomen. And it also carries sensory information from those areas to the brain. Cranial nerve number 11 is the accessory nerve. The accessory nerve is a motor nerve only. It exits through the jugular foramen along with the vagus and the glossopharyngeal. It innervates two muscles, the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius. Cranial nerve number 12 is the hypoglossal nerve. The hypoglossal nerve carries only motor information and it does motor to the tongue. The hypoglossal nerve travels through the hypoglossal canal. 